So DeWalt Tools came out with something pretty real nice like. But here's the best thing about it. You don't even gotta be in the DeWalt platform to use this. As a matter of fact, you don't even gotta be a contractor, handyman, plumber, HVAC. This cool little tool is for anybody that wants one because I guarantee everyone watching this video could use one. What's going on everybody? My name's Clint. Welcome to the Tool Review Zone channel. Now I got something real nice like here. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you know that I've been sort of obsessed with like power banks. If you're not a subscriber and you like power banks, solar generators, get subscribed, hit the bell notification because we're gonna bring a lot to you this week. You know, believe it or not, DeWalt has a lot of tools that you probably don't know about. They really sort of run the game when it comes to like electronics, believe it or not. Not too many other tool companies, manufacturers has anywhere close to what DeWalt has. And this is just another one added to the list. Now, this is a 10,000 MAH. That's a power bank right there. Now, usually on this channel, when we talk about DeWalt or any other tool brand, you got the bat rays right there. We're usually talking about the 4AH or 2AH. Rarely do we talk about an MAH. So what is it? So a milliamp hour means how much current a bat ray will discharge over a period of one hour. Now to give you an idea of how much power we're talking about, a nine volt bat ray. And remember different types vary, but a nine volt alkaline bat ray usually gives you 550 milliamps. That's for one hour of use. So again, the nine volt bat ray, you get one hour of use using 550 milliamp hours. In one hour, you will get 10,000 milliamps. It's real nice like. So uh, why don't we just open this up and we'll talk more specs. We'll, uh, we'll use and abuse. All right, let's see what comes in this bad boy here. Oh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Now, in case you're wondering, this does come with the C port and it's gonna give you a couple different options to charge your electronic devices. But let's talk about build here. You got that really heavy duty over molded protection with this. I, I like this a lot, so it's gonna protect. Oh, that just bounced. Watch this, this went like face first. What? We'll talk about price, but my friends, that's the price of a mission right there. So good on the wall. I mean, listen, I, I'm gonna touch base on this one more time. This is a really heavy duty case. I mean, not only is it dust impact, it's water resistant as well. So as long as you have everything closed up on this, you're gonna be able to use and abuse. Not too many other power banks on the market is gonna be able to take what this is gonna be able to take. Now on the bottom of this right here, you got your little door port. So you just open that up and you look at it. <laughs> got your standard USB right there and you got a C port right there. I mean, I'm happy to see it. You know, everybody's going like the C port route. I mean, it's just far superior than any micro, but they're doing it right. And they added that USB for anybody that still has the USB style cables. All right, the C port on this is used a couple different ways. One is you can use your C port to charge your electronics, or this is how you're going to charge this device. All right, so let's charge this bad boy up. We got the C port in. We're gonna plug this into a 100 watt right here. And if you wanna see what this bad boy is, I guess if I hit the bell notification, you don't, you don't wanna miss that. So right now it's charging at 16 watts. And just to give you an idea, my brand new Samsung S plus 23, whatever it is, charges at like 19 and 20 watts. So not bad. Not sure how well you could pick it up, but the lights on here are pretty faint. So if you're out in the daylight, you're not gonna be able to see those all that well. But you can see we got two bars going up to three and hopefully four real soon. Again, you can see it charging. We're in like shade, but not the brightest. Wish they would have made these like a brighter yellow. That would have been real nice like. DeWalt. So while this unit's charging up, well, I'm not gonna read all this to you. You want all the factual discharge, all that information? Well, it's right there. Go ahead and pause that video. So you can take this and throw it in your one pocket and take that and throw it in your other pocket. Kind of walk around like a, like a biker would with the chain wall. Instead, you got like a seaport hanging out. Real nice slack. I'm like, what's up? How you doing? And yeah, sleek. It's lightweight, very light. You're not even gonna notice this in like a purse or your pocket or wherever you're putting it. I like that they gave you the C port and the USB port. I mean, it's very sleek, very sleek. I do like this a lot. And it'll charge your phone pretty darn quick. Within like a minute, I went from 61% to 64%. And as mentioned, you know, this is charging and discharging in that C port right there. So I'll just take this out from there. I'll plug that in right there. And that went from charging to discharging and I want you to charge up that phone right there. And just to give you a comparison, this is my new Samsung 23S plus whatever it's called, I, I don't know. And then this right here is the new DeWalt battery bank. You can see it's definitely thicker, but not that big. Oh, and I also love how you can hook this up to your carabiner. Carry it around with you and such, just hang it off of something. Oh, just an FYI, DeWalt in the package gives you a USB to C. When you plug this in, it's only charging at around 11 watts. Why they wouldn't give you like a straight up C port and make that thing operate is 
best they could straight out of the box, not really sure. They should get rid of this and do something more like that. That way you have the best performance right out of the box. And it's really not that bad in price. It's on Amazon right now, it's like $10. I'll leave a link in the description below for you. It's like $49 right now if you were to buy this, which again, is not that bad, especially with the protection. That's the selling point right there. This thing has a lot, I mean, it's heavy duty, great. You see me drop it, really, really surprised with how well that's built. Oh, by the way, that's your on and off button right there. You just push that in. Just gonna turn it on, turn it off. But listen, good on DeWall for coming out with this. Sometimes, you know, they come out with like, you know, these headsets and stuff. I just don't like them. I don't think they're very great. But stuff like this, I love, especially if you've never seen this video, I'll leave that at the end of this video. Check this out. I love this DeWalt device. Say that three times fast. But of course, I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the sweet, sweet comment section below. Do you like this? Is this something that you're thinking about picking up for yourself? And also, please do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Smash that like button. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. Back to more videos soon.